Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Kol Holoyim La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Haracha Kodash. For blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwaf that's keeping the faith and the work. Shall keep at it. It's your brother Abiah coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. It says, Let's say and should get an advantage of an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right, the most high is blessed on um, the remnant of his of his people, you know, that um have the spirit of understanding, uh, spirit of righteousness, spirit of holiness. Bless his people to um to see, right, and hear. Right, and we we um you know we see the prophecies, we understand the word, and we also through understanding in the word, understand this world that we living in. We understand it's wicked, right, and we understand that the individuals that are in charge, their main goal is to deceive, right. But the Most High shed light on the darkness of this world to allow us to be able to see. The demons and devils that are really, um, you know, making the plays for the earth, right? Um, this particular uh, video is going to be about the World Economic Forum um, annual meeting in uh, Davos. A lot of people don't don't even know about a World Economic Forum, first and foremost. And secondly, they don't know that the World Economic Forum has annual meetings. And they don't know that the major leaders of the world attend these meetings. And they don't know that they discuss the um, basically agendas for whatever year that the, that the meeting is being held. Right? Let me see. This is the book of um, Psalms. Um... Uh, Psalm 64 and verse 2 says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter, they commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? All right? So, the secret counsel of the wicked, man. And it's just, this is just one particular one. One particular one. All right? You got the Bilderberg Group. You got the Bohemian Grove. All right? You got all kinds of secret meetings that the elite, all right? The elite of the elite. Right, throw and attend, and and like I stated earlier, they're basically making decisions for the world. All right, so with that, I'm gonna let this sound bite play from um, Redacted. Um, and I'll be back. All right, let's get into it. So the World Economic Forum. <laughs> in Davos and the globalists have flown in on their private jets I mean the amount of private jets is unbelievable now they've cordoned off according to reports they've cordoned off about a two mile radius so they know that the media is interested in this maybe not yeah. the mainstream media the mainstream media would love to go there and just hobnob and rub shoulders and you know hang out with all of these elites they do, are doing that they do are the hosts pieces. of most of these panels and doing feature pieces and things like that like the CNBC's of the world like that's fine they're not going to do any they're not going to do any negative coverage or actual coverage, right? So they've kept away anybody else, like independent media. You're not allowed to get anywhere near this event if you are independent media, okay. um, which, of course, of course, is the case. So these globalists come together. This arguably could be one of the most important meetings 
they've ever had because there's a number of big pieces, things on the table right now. First of all, a central bank digital currency, the CBDC, right, where they will control all of the money supply. They will tell you that you can't go to the store because you've already been to the store too many times. You've driven your car too many times. Your carbon footprint is too high. They are very close to putting this in place. That's just one of the pieces that they're going to be discussing during Right. CBDC will be one of the things that they will be discussing in Davos. Right. The new digital world order. That's what this is all about. Revelation 13 all day. Second Thessalonians chapter two. That's what this is all about. We are literally witnessing the end and it's a beautiful thing. Right. Yeah, how about Shmuel Shai As soon as the meeting over with, they go ahead and announce that, uh, you know, they're gonna roll out digital currency and will no longer be printing uh, physical cash. So whatever cash you have, that's the, that's the last cash <laughs> that will be on the planet. Yeah, how about Shmuel Shai man? Cause damn this place, man, need to be gone. All right, so this is the book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, matter of fact, 3 and 4 says, Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto Yahweh, as in the days of old, and as in former years. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, saith Yahweh of hosts. All right. For I am Yahweh, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not are not consumed. Alright, so they need to go ahead and crank that thing on up so Yahweh can put them in their place right quick and we can get back to ruling how we supposed to been doing, right? But, you know, how it's prophesied for us to do forever and ever, even forever. This week. Yes. So, you know, the the archetype of Davos man is unelected global leader who's making decisions for this for the society at for society at large without having the backing or the um, the choice of the people, right? right. So these are Unelected. these are things that powerful people are choosing for us that we may not choose if we were given the opportunity to vote for them or put them in power. So the program overview for this year's Davos, I spent the afternoon looking through it and thinking, well, what are they really talking about? Um, I admit, I'm going to go through this with a little bit of cynicism, but I feel like the last couple of years gives me license to do that. So let's just kind of put on our cynical hats. Um, and if you feel less cynical than me when I present these and you think, well, that's probably benevolent. That's okay. You're free to say that too. But let's just see, okay? Let's see. What do you think about that? I think that's great. By the way, yes, Rebel News is there trying to get in. I don't know if they've, um, yeah, I'll check in with them to see what they've been able to get there. But, you know, they're, they're certainly rabble rousers. And so I can't imagine that they're going to be able to get up close and get access. They're going to try to be more like get attendance on their way in and out if they can get access. Um, it'll be interesting to see how their credentials work to get into this area. But anyway, go ahead. Let's dive into these. Forums. Okay. So let's just look at the program overview. Um, they say, you know, this is an, a critical Davos because the world is at a critical inflection point. The twin triggers, they're calling it, of the COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine rattled an already brittle global system. Economic growth in the world's largest economies is stalling while navigating headwinds from rising food and energy crisis. Now, my issue with this statement is that it implies that these things are just happening to us as if no humans made decisions about these things happening. Even if COVID is a naturally occurring virus, the global response was, I think we can agree, disproportionate and run by the attendees of this conference largely, that's putting it nicely. That's giving them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, the climate in Ukraine, well, we're gonna talk about how they talk about this one, as if none of them have any responsibility at all there. Um, so let's go over what they think. Now, there are plenty of co climate conferences, uh, business decisions with climate in mind, nuclear energy, um, all kinds of you know energy companies talking about this. They're not calling this a new world order, but I, 
identified what I might think is a new term for this. Tell me if you think this sounds like a re- All right, now, before we go any further, I already know YouTube gonna trip because the lady just said the C, right? And how YouTube does if certain people have that word in their video, they not gonna allow you to to post that video. In fact, they're gonna give you a strike and they're gonna threaten to take down your channel. I'm telling you what I know, not telling you what I think. All right? So let's get this understood. Nobody said the Coco did or does anything. This ain't got nothing to do with medical. It's got everything to do with financial. All right? So when I try to post this video, YouTube, you can already expect <laughs> you can already expect me to uh um you know to argue my case in case you, you know you start tripping or whatever. But anyway, branding of new world order. Deglobalization or reglobalization? That's their panel name, deglobalization or reglobalization. Like, has, has globalization broken down to the point where we can no longer, you know, count on ketchup bottles or beer or whatever in the grocery store? Or is this just a reglobalization? Like, the basically what they're saying is it's a new digital world order. That's basically what this whole meeting is about. They are forming up how this thing finna go. That's what it's all about. Right. And they having this meeting as we speak. Right. And they, these meetings happen annually. Say nothing new. That's what she was saying. When that thing hit, they had meetings before it hit. Right. One meeting that they had was Event 21. It's either Event 21 or Event 201. One of them. But they had that. Then that thing hit. That's what she was saying. And, and it's the absolute truth. Any and every time these different groups have meetings, something major happens on the earth. Every time. People don't pay attention because they don't know about it. Like I said, the majority of the, of the, of the most high people, or the majority of people, period, they have no idea what a World Economic Forum annual Davos meeting is. Have no idea what a Bilderberg group. They have no idea that these things actually happen. They believe in politics. They believe in presidents and senators and vice presidents and governors and so forth and so on. And that those are the people that make the decisions for your land. They don't know no, nothing no further than that. Because it's not posted or pushed on your local news. Right? But you best believe these things are going on. And <laughs> really, only if the most high really opening up your spirit to even look for these things, will you know about it? Only if the most high is opening open up your ears to even hear about these things and understand what you hear, will you even seek it? Right? Basically, right? right? Is that what you read into that? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Interesting. And look at these panelists are Ian, Ian Bremer, of course. Oh, Alex Jones. A huge apology. Who does? <laughs> yeah. Me? We all. <laughs> yeah. And how do you re globalize the world? Well, information control is obviously very important. So, just like last year, there are a ton of panels on disinformation and misinformation, like this one here. Clear and present danger of misinformation. Uh, public speakers by the New York Times. Yes, we, I really want to know what they think about misinformation. Um, U.S. House of Foreign Affairs, Congressman Seth Moulton. Um, interesting, so many, uh, so many American companies and U.S. participants on this panel. I wonder if they will address the fact that the U.S. exports disinformation. In fact, we know that from the Gattaca report that came out uh, at the end of last summer. We know that Central Command was perpetuating disinformation campaigns 
in Arab-speaking countries. Um, and what if, just what if you don't want to participate in the type of information that they want you to, and you may be more disinformation leaning, uh, maybe you're guilty of wrong think. Well, this panel gives me a clue to what they might do if they think that you are involved in disinformation. Notice here, go ahead and put it up on the street, the screen calling disrupting distrust. Um, does anything jump out at you? One panelist jumped out at me as extremely upsetting because why, I ask you? Sarah Go Sala Gla Goss. Why would MasterCard be participating in a panel about disinformation? <laughs> why should our money and our banking system be connected to disinformation? Well, we don't have to guess because we lived through the year 2022. We saw it happen in Canada to truckers. Right. who had their bank, bank account seized for protesting vaccine mandates. Hey, so I'm going to start right there because she's just real life saying a lot of stuff that's going to get this looked at by certain people. And I'm going to have to Roger Lee defend everything that's being said. So I'm going to pause right there. I said the, the, uh, the name of the video <laughs> is Oh Shit. Something big is happening at Davos as WEF blocks the media. Redacted with Clayton Morris. Right. But. She says something major. Disinformation. Tied in. To finance. Man, look. The daughter of Babylon is done. The old ways of this place are phasing out. They are moving digital. I can't stress this enough. You can listen or not. That's between you and the Lord. But what they are attempting to do is tie in the funds that you receive to how you are seen socially. It's called social credit system. China already got it booming. The daughter of Babylon and the rest of the world is finna follow, follow suit. That's the whole thing about information, period. That's why when you go on social media or you download apps or whatever it is that you look at on your phone, on your tablet, on your laptop, on your computer, they let you know they are going to share your information. Why do you think that's so? All right, you're going to see. All right, everybody going to see. So let me go to on um, the book of Proverbs. Let me see. Proverbs chapter 24. And um, verse 8 says, He that deviseth to do evil shall be called a mischievous person. The thought of foolishness is sin, and the scorner is an abomination to men. All right? Now, what I really wanted was verse 8. He that devises to do evil shall be called a mischievous person. And that's the, those are the individuals that are in charge, and we keep trying to tell people this dude is mischievous, but the people don't want to hear it. All right? The people do not want to hear it. They love being asleep, man. Straight like that. Um, let me see. Let me see. Proverbs 12 and 5. Let me see what this says. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It says in Proverbs 12 and 5, it says the thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. All right. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. All right. We keep trying to tell people what time it is for real, but they rather listen to the mischievous person. They rather listen to the devil. Tell them I don't pay them no mind. They speaking crazy. Right. And you simple-minded niggas out there just believe everything that the devil tells you. 
it's only going to go so far, man. All right? You ain't got to believe it. Keep on with your Christmas and keep on with your Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, and all these other pagan-ass days that you following in this place. Because ultimately, yeah, you, <laughs> you store it up for death. All right? And you deserve it, too. Straight like that. The same information I received that woke me up is the same information you receive that you turn a blind eye to. Right? So it is what it is. Straight like that. That's the hey, straight like that. We all caught the same information. We all see the same things. It's just you can't understand what you're seeing and you can't understand what you're hearing. So call hello yum la yahweh bashim yahweh shah for choosing me to be able to understand and choosing you to be able to see and choosing you to be able to hear. All right, as far as everybody else, man, hey, man, it is what it is. I said, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh all all the end time prophecies happen sooner than later, and we out of here, man. Right? But, yeah, it's something going on. You best believe that the, the, the wicked are holding councils secretly, plotting against the righteous. Right, so righteous, hey, stay faith, uh, stay faith up, you know, keep them, keep works in faith, you know what I'm saying? Like scripture tells us to, faith without works is dead, so you have to have both, uh, you know, and make sure you keep the faith, keep the faith, keep the faith, you know, like it's spoken of in Hebrews 11, you can't please power without it, right? So with that, Yahweh Shemar Shirat is all these precepts in this video were edifying. Call Holoyim La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Harakakodash Shalom Yashalom.